Here's today's In Touch Devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 38 of Acts chapter 2. Peter said to them, Repent, and each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far away, as many as the Lord our God will call to Himself. We all fail at times, and when those of us who are believers don't live as Scripture teaches, we miss out on the joy and peace that Jesus promised. The reason? We don't recognize the need to live under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, so we try to live each day in our own strength. On Pentecost, God's Spirit came to indwell believers. He's a gift, blessing us in many ways. Let's consider some of the work He does before and after salvation. The Holy Spirit convicts us of sin so that we can repent. He regenerates us. At salvation, we become new beings, alive in Christ. He seals us forever as a child of the Almighty. He teaches, guides, and empowers us for the rest of our life. He gifts and enables us to do the work God has planned for us. For a list of spiritual gifts, see 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And the Holy Spirit bears fruit through us. As we're obedient to what God calls us to do, we get to watch Him work in mighty ways. All these benefits are available to everyone who follows Jesus. But we can miss out by attempting to live in our own meager strength. Remember, the Christian life is this, Christ living His life in and through us by the power of God's indwelling Holy Spirit. <music> 